Greetings everyone, this is Donna Gilliland with Most Training with a quick power tip, a Google Doc spreadsheet power tip. It's on how to save your typing time as well as improve accuracy by creating an automated drop-down list, a pre-populated list. And you're going to learn two different ways to create the list in this five-minute video. The first thing that's required is that you select the range that you want to create the drop-down list for. In this case, I've selected a small area for the state and, of course, make sure you select the full area that you actually want the drop-down list to be applicable to. But I've selected a small range and that is what's required first. And then from there, you want to head out to the data menu at the top and from data, you will choose validation. When the validation box appears, it is set to validate your selected range for a value that you define between a certain range. But we want to validate it with a list. Click the up or down arrow for the criteria to change it from number to items from a list. Afterwards, down below, you see two radio buttons, two choices for you. To create a list from a range, which you will learn toward the close of this video, or to enter the list items yourself manually. That's what we're going to do first. Now remember, before we even got here, we first identified the range that we wanted the validation to apply to. So now I'm choosing enter list items and to the right, you'll use the box to key in your list items and separate each with a comma. You also have to be concerned about the order you want it to be in. You'll need to type it in the order you want. So if you wanted an alphabetical order, ascending, then you would have to type it that way. But I'm just going to put in a couple of items here just so that you can see. I'm going to put in Alabama and I'm going to put in uh, California. Just a couple here. Now after you would key in, after you've keyed in your list items, then down below it says that the help text that you would get or whoever's using your spreadsheet, it would say click and enter a value from the list of items. You can change the help text if you like. Down below it is set to show list of items in a drop down menu. That is what I want. But I don't want the next one that says allow invalid data but show a warning. That simply means that the person who's using the spreadsheet they could key in something that's not in your list. They would receive a warning, but they would still be allowed to go ahead and enter that information. And if you want to prevent that, deselect that option. Now let's save what we've done. For the area we selected, any cell you go to in that selected area, there will be a down arrow that when clicked will give the user the list you created for them. And all I have to do is click an option that they want and it will populate the field with the information that they clicked on. Now what we're going to do next and last is use a spreadsheet that's in this workbook that's already got the United States listed and we're going to create a range name for it and then use that name in the validation list. So you'll actually be use, uh, learning a little extra something here and that's range names. But first we want to take off the validation for the area that we worked with a moment ago. I select the area, go back to data, back to validation. I'm just going to choose to remove the validation. But here's what I've got to do. Since I'm planning to use a list that's already here, already in my workbook, I'm going to range name it. So if you look down at the bottom of my screen, I'm going down to a sheet I've created called United States. And what I want to first do is give that range an official name because that name will be needed when you create the list. I've already selected the range, that's step number one. Then head off to the insert menu and from the insert menu you are going to work with named range. You want to define a new range and I've got it selected and I'm going to call it US States. That's the name of that range I have highlighted. Click Save. Now click Done. All right, now let's pop back to the employee list. Make sure you've got your, your area selected for the validation list. Then we'll go back to data, back to validation, and they will change from number to items from list. But this time in the create list from range, I'm going to put U.S. States. That's the name that we created for the range. Now when I click the down arrow, look, I have that full list because of a range name. I hope you enjoyed this power tip on uh, Google Doc spreadsheets. More coming soon. Bye for now.